morning, I'm making this little video uh, called Tips and Trick in Corel Draw. I'm using Corel X6, and we're going to make, and this is a test. I've never done this before, this type of video. So if I make some mistakes, pardon me. But we're going to make a, a clock face, a face of a clock. I'm going to go over here and grab, grab the Eclipse tool. I'm going to hold down the Control button and drag it, and I'm going to make a perfect circle. I want the clock to be 12 inches. I've got it locked, so wherever I change any of those, I'm going to change that to 12 and enter. Now both of them are at 12. I've still got it selected. Now I'm going to hit the P key on the keyboard. That's going to put our clock in the middle of your workspace. I'm going to hit the space bar, get back my pick tool, go over here and grab an index line, hit P, it puts it in the center, go up top, hit P. Now basically you have a crosshair in the middle of your item, of your object. Now I'm going to go over here and grab this pre-made little diamond shape, enter it right there. I'm going to hit the Z key on the keyboard. That gives me my zoom tool. I'm pretty close. Move over. That's close enough. That's, that's pretty much dead on. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key. That zooms in everything that's on your workspace. If you had something over here, it would include it. And if you just had this, it would just include that. So now we've got a zoomed in version so we can see it better. I'm going to hit Control D to make a duplicate of that little diamond. I'm going to double click it and I get my rotation button. Now you drag it down and it doesn't look like it's in the center. But if you drag off of it and re-click it, okay, I'm grabbing the circle. So I have to go over here to arrange, order, back a page. Now I can grab my diamond. Now I double click it. It has put the rotation factor right in the center of the clock. I'm going to go up here to the rotation. I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. Control D and make another duplicate. Now this time we need to make it 60 degrees. Now you're done. All you have to do is control D again 10 more times. And it makes the 12 segments of your clock perfectly. Go over here to the clips tool. Uh, control. We're going to put like a half inch circle for your clock movement. You would probably have to test and see what you yours need to be. Hit the space tool again. Space bar and you get the pick tool. Hit the P. It's in the center of the hole. The red lines are hairline. It's going to cut it out, and these are going to engrave. Thank you for watching.